Please fall through me and always fool me and I can't react in games that never amount to more than Hey everyone, uh, it's Steve Kazee here, and I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk to you about an organization that is very uh, dear to me, and that is Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Now, I have been a proud supporter of Broadway Cares since 1997, uh, when I saw the Broadway production of Rent, and the show changed my life, and uh, the experience of learning about Broadway Cares changed my life, because I saw this community that was taking care of its own in such a beautiful way and it really spoke to me about what the love of people in the arts can do uh, and so i have been a supporter ever since and i've been lucky enough in my career to be able to help raise funds for broadway cares and i was very proud of the work that we did at once uh, in order to help the organization now uh, i think that broadway cares has a 
a deep history of taking care of those communities that have been marginalized or silenced and oppressed, whether it was during the AIDS epidemic or now with COVID-19 and the systemic racism that is just coming at us from all sides, our community is hurting badly. And now more than ever, Broadway Cares is able to come in and, and fill a hole at the moment for a lot of people. But the only way that they can do that is through support of people like you. Whether it's time spent raising funds or making a donation yourself, you can really go a long way to helping a lot of people who are in desperate need at the moment. So a donation today uh, will help provide Broadway Cares with the ability to have grants for social justice organizations, providing health care, emergency financial assistance, uh, counseling for people who may need it. And that goes for people in front of and behind the curtain. And I just think it's a really, really important time to take care of our community because we know that it's gonna be gone for a minute and it's gonna come back and it's gonna be just as beautiful as it ever was. But in the time being, we really need to step up and help each other. So if you can, and I used to always say during our curtain speeches at once, if you can afford a Starbucks, then you can afford to make a small donation today. So please find it in your heart uh, to help those in need during this time. Thank you guys, love you so much, and thank you all. Do you think you stay living?